I'm doing a preliminary test to help guide me in a future project. More so, it could provide a new method for those who work on smartphones. To see what I'm up to, stay tuned. I've taken apart smartphones before, but one thing I've never done is dismantle a smartphone that is glued together and requiring a heat gun to open it. The purpose of this video is to see if I can find another way to open a glued phone other than with a heat gun. Although that last photo may have looked like a joke, if this works, I'm actually going to need some of those tools for that future project. But for today, all I'm going to need is this can of lacquer thinner. I've been looking for a solvent that won't damage the electronics of a smartphone, and there's a lot of information about isopropyl alcohol and acetone, and minimal information on turpentine. What I couldn't find any information on was lacquer thinner. I use lacquer thinner for cleaning my paintbrushes, and it's great for removing the gummy texture that occurs when the plastic coating on devices gets old and starts deteriorating. I've tried using acetone, turpentine, and paint thinner for this same kind of cleaning, and there's no comparison to lacquer thinner. I did do a preliminary test to see what would happen if I submerged only the cover of my Moto G in the lacquer thinner, and here you can see what happens. It did take off the aged film I usually scrub off, but what was left looks pretty bad. Hopefully my test to submerge the phone doesn't result in the screen turning out the same way. I'm going to do one test today. I'm going to test the PCB, flux cables, components, and screen. The battery will be removed for this test. I'm going to submerge a working smartphone in lacquer thinner for 12 hours, after which I'll let it dry for 12 hours. I'm then going to reinstall the battery and power up the phone to see if it still works with some minimal feature testing. I had thought about doing a second test with the battery installed along with powering it up while submerged, but because I don't have a really safe environment to do a test like this, I'll skip it since it's not that important for my purposes. This is a time lapse of my testing. I've got my fingers crossed because if this turns out the way I want it to, I think it could be interesting to people who dismantle phones for repairs, as well as for my next project. So here we go. There's definitely more pieces in the container now than what I started out with. Luckily, they don't look like any of the solid pieces like the components or PCB. They look mostly like the rubber parts. The lamination of the screen between the glass and the touch sensitive part looks like it dissolved or became translucent. I'll have to see if the screen still works once everything dries. This area between the PCB and the screen seems okay. So the only parts that had a hard time with the lacquer thinner seem to be the rubber parts and the glues. For my purposes of dismantling phones, it's good to confirm the thinner will melt the glue. In this pile of parts, the rubber padding around the camera, USB port, and screen sort of melted off of those parts. The lacquer thinner seems to dry pretty quickly, but to be sure, I'm leaving everything out to dry for at least 12 hours. Once that's done, I'll try the power on test. As you can see, there's not much lighting up during the power up of the phone. It is powering up, but the screen is almost completely blank. Only on the very bottom can you see a small section of the display working. Looking at this entire process, I still feel like it was sort of a success. The fact that the phone can still boot up is impressive, considering it was submerged in lacquer thinner for 12 hours. When I look at what didn't survive, it was anything rubber or glued, which I think is why the screen doesn't work, because I'd guess the video panel is glued to the protective glass. I was surprised, nothing happened to the plastic shell that the PCB is attached to. Also, the initial test I did on the battery cover might have looked as bad as it did because the plastic might have already been like that. Hard to say, but in looking at how little damage there was to other plastic parts, it's very likely. I probably wouldn't recommend this technique to anyone else, but I'm still planning on using the lacquer thinner to separate the two halves of my next tablet project. I'm just going to make it a point to use the thinner in moderation. 
I hope you've at least taken away from this video the fact that lacquer thinner doesn't completely melt your phone down to nothing but metal pieces. Leave your questions and comments in the comment section below. That's all I have for now and I'll catch you in the next video.